hey guys welcome back to the channel and today we got some really really good information for you you have been asking me about the whole issue of drilling for oil and earthquakes and stuff like that so i had to take my time and do some research to come up with some real life examples for you now i'm not saying to you that what is happening in jamaica is triggering earthquakes what i'm gonna say to you is that yes Drilling for oil, whether onshore or offshore, can trigger earthquakes. And this has been well documented. And today I'm going to present that information for you. So remember to share this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can get our videos when we post them. Remember to share this video. It's important that you share it. All right, so let's get into this because you've been asking for information about it. So did some research and here's what I found. I'm going to start with what are systematic risk in offshore oil drilling. I found out that we had oil spills, um, blowouts and explosions, but this is the one that caught my attention. It says seismic activity. Offshore drilling can cause or exacerbate seismic activity, which can result in earthquakes or tsunamis that can cause damage to the drill rig, equipment or infrastructure. The impact of the earthquake or tsunamis can also be felt a great distance away from the rig. It also impacts the ecosystem and the nearby wildlife. So right away, we know that offshore drilling, one of the systematic risk uh, drilling for oil offshore is seismic activity. All right. Let's go to the other information that I found just for you. It says, and this is from science.org. Remember science.org is like the journal of medicine. It's, it's really respected, right? It says oil and gas operations could trigger large earthquakes, U.S. Geological Survey says. The U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, has taken its first stab at quantifying the hazards from earthquakes associated with oil and gas development. The assessment released in a preliminary report where geologists now say that such induced earthquakes could potentially be large up to magnitude seven, which is big enough to cause buildings to collapse and widespread damage. Remember I had an interview with the professor recently, Professor Mitchell from the UWI, and he did say that we are to prepare for a big one and it could be as large as Port Royal. So, and we are talking about seven, eight and nine. Let's continue. Geoscientists have known for decades that the injection can increase pressures within the pores of the deep rock formations, pushing faults that are already critically stressed by forces in the Earth's crust past the snapping point, right? So remember, when you're uh, drilling for oil, you keep drilling down. And they, that's called the injection, right? Put pressure to find the oil. That can actually cause problems in the rock formation and it can push on faults. And remember, Mitchell told me that the fault lines are where the problems are, right? Let's continue. But the phenomenon has been brought to the fore by an extraordinary rise in small earthquakes across parts of the US, or the central US. They've been drilling for oil and they've been seeing a rise in small earthquakes across, across parts of the central US. So far, the largest induced earthquake in the United States has been the 2011 magnitude 5.6 in Oklahoma, which damaged dozens of buildings. But geoscientists now say there is no reason why oil and gas operations could not end up triggering something much larger. There are certainly faults large enough to produce a magnitude 7, says Justin Rustabide, a geophysics at USGS, right? So... Here they're saying that geoscientists are now saying that there is no reason why oil and gas operations could not end up triggering something much larger. And they're talking about uh, up to a magnitude seven. And remember, Mitchell keeps saying to me, we have to prepare for the big one. All right. Sa science agencies and regulators finally seem to be taking induced earthquakes seriously. For a long time, the Oklahoma Geological Survey was reluctant to link the earthquakes 
to oil and gas operations. But in a statement released on 21st April, the agency now says that this is very unlikely that the surge in earthquakes represent a natural process. So the surge they've been seeing in the earthquakes are not the natural process. It's been induced by something, and they have come to the conclusion that the oil and gas operations can induce these earthquakes that they have been seeing. So you have been asking me for it, and now I'm presenting the information to you. So share the video, like, and subscribe to the channel. Please share this video so others can get this information. It's very, very important. Get your friends to subscribe so that they can also get the information. All right? Now, you may ask me as well. So this is just research, right? Has it ever happened anywhere? Do you have documentation of it happening anywhere outside of the U.S.? Well, guess what? Yeah, I did form some information for you. And we're going to go to that information right now, right? Because in Spain, it did happen. And they had to abandon the project. So let's take a look at that. It says, Spain abandons offshore gas storage project due to earthquake risk. And this is from since May 2017. It says, the Spanish Minister of Energy, Alvaro Nadal, said on May 3rd, at the Castor offshore gas storage field and facilities will be dismantled after final confirmation from a team, including Massachusetts Institute of Technology and Harvard University expert that gas injection into the field was causing tremors and minor earthquakes. So they had to abandon the project, right? And they got people from highly respected universities to give them this information, MIT, Harvard University. So this is not just somebody saying we had to stop because. Now it says the localization of the tremors coincided with the Amposta fault line and the studies conclude that these faults were put under stress as a result of the gas injections, the energy minister said in a statement. Remember Professor Mitchell keep telling me about stress being placed on the fault line. Some 200 tremors were detected in the area after gas injections started in 2013. So they had to abandon the project. So this is not just people saying things. These are real life examples of what have taken place. Now this area that they're currently uh, exploring for gas, oil in Jamaica, it's a massive block and it has potentially 7 billion barrels of oil to be found there. But take a look here. This is the whole block here you're seeing in white and marked out. In the orange is where there's a prospective lead. And in the yellow, there's additional leads. But look at where the orange, the heavy deposits are. It's just off uh, Kingston and those areas. If you see here, the Blue Mountain Ridge right across here, look at where the green areas, the orange areas are. So I'm just saying, you know, you have to look at these things and pay attention. Then there is another issue that's been going on. Let's take a look at that one from Spain as well. I'm going to show you something here. The map shows the location of the Castor platform, the white square. That's the Castor platform right there. Closest seismic stations, and they're showing the seismic stations here, ALCX and ALC. And this is in Spain, right? And they're saying, and the approximate trace of the Amposto fault, the red line dot. So this is the fault line right here. This is the fault line. And if fault lines are placed on the stress, Earthquakes can occur. But look at where the fault line is. That's the red shading right there. Look at where the fault line is and look at where the oil rig is, the platform for drilling. You see what I'm talking about? So that's the fault line. This is the platform and these are the seismic stations. So once the fault lines are placed on the stress, earthquakes can occur. The question you have to ask yourself is, are the fault lines running through Jamaica being placed on the stress based on exploration of oil? That's a question you'll have to ask the government and those in charge to know what is happening. Drilling for oil can induce earthquakes. So this is not to scare you. This is not to cause fear and panic or whatever. It's just education and you can share with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and um, hit the notification bell so you get all the notifications when we go live or when we post new videos. So this is just educational purposes. Like I said, 
You have to question your MPs. You have to ask the tough questions of those doing um, the exploration in Jamaica and whether or not it can cause pressure on the fault lines. All right. Thanks for joining. And we're definitely going to see you next time. Remember to keep checking back the channel so you can get up-to-date information on what's taking place. Have a great weekend, guys.